Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Thermers Bison. Welcome back. It's good to see you guys. As you can tell, there's some fun stuff. That rooster just will not. I mean, it is 2.30 and this guy still croaking away. Good Lord. You guys can tell there is, it's, it's that fun time of the year. It's a good thing to own bison instead of cattle. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that, but there's some things I got to handle and if you see this stuff right here, you know that's a problem. Look at that right there. You can see the rings where the water's gone down and we've busted it and pulled the ice out. Kevin and I have. You can see the bison out there and everything is white. Grass is white. It's all frozen. Oklahoma is typically not this cold, but it is cold and it's going to be cold for a while. Well, unfortunately, the hose busted, and uh, I really wish I had that automatic water system going because those rubber tires, supposedly, they don't really freeze. But now I got a new hose, had to buy a new hose, and this is, this is what we're dealing with right now. So bison are doing good though, herds up. One of the things that you got to appreciate about bison versus cattle. And I don't always like to compare cattle versus bison, but when it comes to cold, it comes to blizzards, when it comes to snow, when it comes to ice and the bad conditions of wintertime, there is a major advantage that bison have over cattle. I know a lot of cattle people right now are probably hitting it hard. They're out there getting water, they're probably busting ice in the ponds and their water systems, and which everybody has to do that. The other bad part is the cattle right now, uh, they're probably having calves. This is this can be calving season for a lot of um, cattle. And it's a rough time to be having calves. Here's the positive about bison. They're not having calves right now. It's not springtime. They won't start having calves till maybe April or May. Mine will be May, June, and sometimes even July. Um, but... The thing is, the bison aren't having babies right now, but bison are tough animals. Bison can handle the conditions. Everything, the trees, the plants, <laughs> the fencing, everything is frozen on the north side, <sighs> facing the where all of our bad weather comes from. It's so funny. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before, but... It is definitely cold here in southern Oklahoma. Us Okies, are, we're not used to that down here in the south. Um, but, uh, but these guys are. These guys have been groomed for this. Uh, since the bison have existed, these guys are, are made for this stuff. Look at his big old coat. Big old thick hair, that thick hide. Big Joe here. He's, he's just in his natural setting here and this cold weather doesn't bother these guys and i can't imagine what it's like in montana or up in canada and some of those northern states where it gets really chilly and i don't even know how cold that is i've never been in that much in that cold of weather but you know, i know it's and it's below zero we don't we don't have to deal with that thank gosh but it's it may get down that cold but that's the great thing about these animals is like big joe here is these animals can survive these type of temperatures and and right now we're in the teens in oklahoma which, which is cold, but like I said, up in the north and a lot of places, or like up in Yellowstone where it gets really cold, these animals have been surviving through this. And this is why these animals are so tough. It's because they've been living through these conditions forever. And that's why the bison are still here. Um, that's why the bison survived longer than the woolly mammoth or the mammoths. The bison, that rooster, I'll tell you what, these suckers... That's why these animals 
are survivors is because they can go through this type of uh, weather. But um, so the benefit of raising bison versus cattle is is because of this right here. Um, these animals can take care of themselves. They're low maintenance. Now you probably have to go out and give them some hay. Obviously we are always giving ours hay, especially during the winter time. We supplement feed too in the winter time just to keep them healthy and keep them strong and keep that immune system going. We're not trying to fatten them up or anything, but we, we do keep some some uh, feet on these guys and obviously make sure that they have good water and then you got goofy here dunbar dunbar your goatee's frozen a little bit hear that dumb rooster but this is a positive raising these guys you don't have to go out and try to save and rescue their calves in the middle of this. These animals can take care of them. How to get me a new hose? About 100 feet. Am I? Are you cold? I'm cold. All right, we gotta hook up our new hose, and then I'm after I'm done with this thing, we gotta clean it. I gotta drain it out, so make sure all the water's out of it. And uh, oh yeah. Take it inside and let it stay warm. Peaches. So I've got to fill these waters up. Since I got the new hose, the other one busted, I've got to fill these waters up while I can. Fill them all the way up. And then I gotta take drain this hose and then get it out. I gotta get it out of the cold weather and take it inside and keep it warm so that we can use it again. Whew, it is cold. Got to get this thing off, get the water out of it. We're going to take it in for the night. Keep it.
these guys are feeling frisky today. It's about 24 degrees outside. It's like a winter wonderland here. Say hi to Eleanor. She's doing great, hanging out with, uh, with the calves. Also put some Redmond Mineral out. You click on the link below and that'll take you straight to the Redmond Minerals website. I really like using their minerals. I put out Bison 90. It's one of the only companies that produces a Bison 90, which is extra selenium for Bison only. It's a great mineral. Give them a little bit of minerals that they may not have um, in the winter time that they may have in the other seasons. As you guys can see, just part of raising livestock, any animal, when it's cold outside like this and freezing temperatures, you've got to get those animals watered. That's important. You know that. I give credit to the guys up north that are dealing with way colder temperatures and way worse conditions than here. But uh, like I said, in Southern Oklahoma, this is hardly ever that we get this cold of temperatures consistently and having to bust this ice. Welcome to the farm life, right? Just part of the benefits of having bison is a perfect example today. These animals can survive these cold weather temperatures and the conditions because that's the way God made them. We're thankful for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to us, I was raising the American bison. Thank you guys.